So we left New York and uh, went up to East River into Long Island Sound. And then we uh, continue north with a short stop on Long Island. And that's New York and on the other side is Connecticut. And then we entered into, because we are all heading north, so then we came into Rhode Island and Block Island, which we got a recommendation from an old friend of Lena. And that was really fantastic. I would say, I guess this area with the Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket and uh, Newport is like the home of New England style uh, with a lot of old uh, whale industries. So we went to Block Island uh, and then we headed north uh, up to Newport. Up here is Boston, so you uh, know where you are. Block Island had everything we like. Nice walking trails through forest and small farming areas. Beaches, both small secluded ones and long surf beaches. Small villages with old nice houses. Everything was very well maintained and fixed, so it's very clear that tourism is a big thing here. We stayed on Block Island for two days, and I think we walked every trail on the island. It was a nice change after five days on the boat since we left Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. There are some hills on the island, and our bodies were sore in a good way after all the walking. for dinner it's, uh, we, that we caught on the way here so uh, it's very nice so it's uh, 20 past 8 now and uh, all the fog horns are going on now and we don't know really why have to google it but it's a very nice night here at Block Island There were a lot of boats in the bay, and many boats were tied together as big party platforms. Now we're entering Newport, the sailing capital city or, or, overall. And uh, from here we have approximately two miles to go to our anchorage. And, uh, 
we see all kinds of boats, all the American Cup boats from uh, the 80s and uh, some other big uh, uh, boats that are looks very old and, uh, and then combined with this super modern foiling uh, yachts and uh, yeah all kinds of uh, different sailing vessels and this is quite cool. How do you feel Paul? This is fantastic. I mean this has been a dream for me. This is probably the first memory that I had, had. Uh, from sailing, it was the first America, Swedish America's Cup Challenger back in 1976. Now I have to do some steering. Uh, so if you look ahead now, we see one of those old ones. So I'm just going to change my course a little bit. Uh, so and it's all kinds of boats. I mean, there are small uh, boats that uh, are not fancy at all. And this uh, looks very cool. A lot of people on board. And we uh, move away from the other one. I have to check what kind of boat this is. It looks very nice. So back to Newport and uh, 1976, the first Swedish uh, America's Cup Challenge. Uh, it was Pelle Pettersson uh, with uh, their boat called Sverige, uh, that's Sweden in Swedish. And uh, it was a white hull and a yellow deck and the two stripes, yellow and the blue stripe. I can't remember it so clearly. Uh, so it's, it is a good feeling to be here and uh, also coming into Newport uh, with your own boat sailing all the way here. We anchored outside New York Yacht Club. Newport must be a very rich area. The boats are huge and the houses are even bigger. It was this beach walk where you could see all the houses of the rich and famous. It was four kilometers long and they all competed to have the biggest and fanciest house and garden. It was fun to see but we enjoy our small and cozy boat more. The city center was pretty with a lot of small wooden houses. We spent the Independence Day, the 4th of July in Newport, together with Hilma, another Swedish boat. Most of the celebration was cancelled, but we saw some fireworks. Follow us next week when we continue up to Maine, the home of lobsters and fog.